Scratch that. Reverse it. It's what the girlies in South London be looking like with their fake tans. Wait, is that that musty chocolate bar from when he was a child? That's gotta be out of date. Hi legends, welcome back. Today we're gonna be watching Wonka because honestly what else am I gonna be doing on a Thursday afternoon? No, but seriously, what else would I be doing? This is my life. Yeah, we're gonna check it out. I've not really seen much of Timmy Chalotot's work. I'm joking, I know it's Timothy Chalamet. I'm so sorry. But I've not seen much of his work, so I thought I'd start checking him out. I've seen Dune part one. I'm lined up to see Dune part two at some point, but that's not the point of the day. The point of today is we're watching Wonka. Before we get started though, feel free to subscribe. I know more than half of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so go and subscribe because I really want to hit 70k this year. It would be like a dream come true. Um, getting past 50k was a dream come true, so thank you. Feel free also to check me out on my socials. I let you know what books I'm reading and what I think of the books that I have read. What else is there? Oh, yeah, my Patreon. If you want to see the full length reaction to this movie, that'll be available down below on my Patreon. Ooh, oh, Warner Brothers. Oh, this is gonna be such a pain with copyright. Jesus, I've done myself dirty. Also, I love that they're already doing like this version of your imagination because that's the first thing I thought of when thinking of this movie was this song how are they putting it into this thing <laughs> i'm doing such a great job so far at my job um but yeah because obviously there's been other charlie and the chocolate factory movies made and i know this is like the uh coming of age story of him wonka never thought we needed that in our lives but okay hopefully they prove me wrong will they change my mind whether we actually need a wonka movie like is his What's the word I'm looking for? Is his... Do you know what you call it? Coming of age. Of life upon the ocean. Okay. It is time to bid the seven okay, Timmy, you sing? He's a singer? Okay. Still don't know how convinced I am with Timmy as Wonka. Again, I also hope he changes my mind. The prices are suspicious. Look, there's no denying he's got a nice face, okay? We're not denying that. But am I convinced with him as Wonka? We will see. Because, you know, his face card. I got okay, good. Uh, yeah, dancing. I guess I'll take it because, I mean, I won't lie. I'm not being sold on the actual song so far. Like, for an opening song, it feels like it's falling quite flat. But the dance bit there, this bit, gotta give props where it's due. And with the purple-pink lighting, it's quite stunning. No daydreaming. That that gasp was so unwarranted. Like, it's not that deep. How do they know if you're daydreaming? Though? Like, how dare you look off into the distance? Girlie, what if I'm just having a stroke? And you're gonna find me? I think not. See, if that was back in the day, Timmy here would have been hung. Well, not a woman, so debatable. <laughs> oh, a dog. Hey, shoot. Go away. Stop. Okay, such a hater. Go away. Timmy, you deserve to be attacked by this dog. Because he's a hater. By this time tomorrow, you'll be frozen solid. See, I'm not one to point out other people's teeth because I've, I'm no one to talk. But I think my man's got the British gap going on. But also, yay for not seeing straight teeth in everything. Because straight teeth does not equate healthy teeth. And I feel like that's a very missed discussion. And also, I like to see imperfections in movies. I'm so bored of seeing everyone look the same. Thank you, Mrs. Scrubbit. You and your husband have been so kind to me. Husband? Him? Oh, I'm holding out for someone far superior to that idle peasant. <laughs> she fully said peasant with a proper P. She meant that. That was a hard P. That's for my stew. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mr. Wonka. I can see you, man. Look, his charm worked a little bit there when he was pulling like, the handkerchiefs out the hat. I don't know what it was. It was that smile. Mm. Oh, I feel so weak. Is he just signing his life away? Did he check the terms and conditions? Okay, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to listen to Noodle, Mr. Wonka. She's damaged. It's like when we scroll through the terms and agreements and we just press the checkbox. I always think sometimes we could just like, be signing our lives away and we don't even know. Even with all that being said, still not checking it. <laughs> Villain song? Olivia Colman's gonna get bars. You 
don't ever interfere in my business again and you'll be in this coop all week. Do you understand? Yes, Mrs. Scrubbit. Sorry, Mrs. Scrubbit. No wonder she's so nasty though. Her name's Mrs. Scrubbit. She probably got bullied a lot at school. Come scrub it. <laughs> I really couldn't have been a bully back in the day because I just can't think of good insults. Ladies and gentlemen of the gallery gourmet, my name is Willy Wonka, <sighs> and I have come to show you a marvelous <sighs> morsel, an incredible edible, an unbeatable edible, the likes of which this world has never seen. So quiet ah! and listen to that. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. Oh, I'm dying on these, and I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, that physically pained me. It wasn't even like bad acting, it was just. But only one just makes your eyes pop out the socolis. Socolis? That's a crime. Crime. Punishable by death. You know what? He means we're going to fart them out of our bodies. Yes, I know what he meant. You're up. Is it a kid's movie if they don't have a fart joke? Is it? I don't think so. That you're disrupting the trade of other businesses. I'm regrettably what? obliged to move you on and to confiscate your earnings. Hey. What the f- What are his earnings? What do they mean? Oh, they're such haters. Timmy should like throw down. Bust out those dance moves. You have incurred a few extras during the course of your residency with ourselves. Mm, she's out here running a scam. Oh, then you've got your stair charge. That is personal. Stair charge? <laughs> They sent down the local twink. Yeah. Oh, I can get down with the Scrub Scrub song. Not this being like my favourite one so far. Oh. Told you to read the small print. There's no problem with that. You can't read, can you? <gasps> That's just your orphan syndrome talking. Orphan Wait, syndrome? You're, I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, mm. nutty, absolutely insane. I'm not sure how I feel when he goes into those little moods, like his goofy moods. I used to spend every waking hour trying to come up with some new trick. Oh my god, is that lady? Life. She's in so many things. Isn't she kind of an icon at this point? <gasps> is she the lady in Shape of Water? I've not seen that, but... Interesting concept. What is it? I tell you. When you're older. <gasps> Did she get eliminated before she could tell him? That's why you should tell them as soon as you can. Dumbass. When you do share chocolate with the world, right there beside you. <gasps> Mother Dearest is eliminated. And I bet when Wonka finally gets his store, we're going to see like a vision of his mother in the distance. Because that was in the trailer. His mum blowing him a kiss. I bet that's when he gets his store. What was the secret? I never found out. Told Soon you. After she fell sick. Told you. She went. <coughs> that sounds illegal how crunchy it is like it's not even a normal crunch that sounded like she was breaking and chewing technical bits i like it it's just now which day i don't have chocolate will be a little harder girl you took the smallest nibble that is not convincing enough that you actually like the chocolate i've come to make a confession Okay, this is very intense. What is going on? That's the most ominous choir I've ever seen. Temptation. Rowan Atkinson? What an icon, what a legend. If you don't know who he is, and I don't know if you are that familiar with him in America, but he is Mr. Bean the Icon. I think that Mr. Wonka might require a little more than simply moving on. Oh. Talk about... Well now, Chief. Okay. Oh, I'm a sucker for something that like, goes along with the music. Oh, yeah. They're getting me here. Paid in chocolate. Okay, diabetes is rampant here. Their, pa their payment method is chocolate sometimes. They should all go to the doctors more often. And the dentist. What? She's madly in love with you. Mrs. Strawberry. Playing dirty and I respect it. Oh, have a bath. A bath? He stinks that bad. Right. He's stinky poo -wee. You'll be thankful for an angle. Yes. And pleased to see your knees. Right. But if you want to make her sigh, tell me. Show her some thigh. <laughs> Not this getting kind of spicy. A lot of foot talk though. Couldn't be for me. Ankles, knees, thigh. Mm. Mm. Never been attracted to legs. Go and get my gin. <laughs> Trump, Trump. 
Oh yeah, a reprise of Scrub Scrub. They know it's a hit. I feel like that make your shift feel longer though if you guys are singing this song day in, day out. That's on them. Make a new tune. Oh my. I'm sorry, they did him dirty with the suspenders and those shorts, giving him a Humpty Dumpty look. Really? Yeah. That is one shot of his face. I felt like I was too up in his space. Sometimes I spy him in that strange realm to sleep and wake, green hair glinting in the moon. You don't seriously expect me to believe this, do you? Of course I do. You saw chocolate that made people fly and you draw the line at green hair. Why are there so many flies? Oh, it's the snow falling. Or is there not a bunch of flies in his room? Like, clean up, sir. Ah, giraffe. Being illiterate really does kill. If my colleague here gives you a good scratch, do you think you could possibly spare us a pint or two in your Giraffes milk? can make milk? Why did I know this? Wait, giraffes? That's not right, truly? Giraffes don't make milk, do they? Am I really dumb? I'm so baffled right now. When I was a kid, I always hoped that I'd find my parents. <gasps> Story time, YouTube, draw my life. Okay, leg work. He remembered that video of him existed and said, I got to put the effort in here. They've seen me dance before. And yes, that is a threat. If you're telling someone you're having oodles and oodles of fun, I don't think you are having oodles and oodles of fun. Did I lie? Did I lie? This is a pretty moment though, with the warm lights and them two on this rooftop with the balloons. It is pretty. What I will say though, is I feel like some of these songs could have been so much more powerful with better singers, like Broadway singers or something. Like no hate against either one of these actors. And I'm not sure about either one of their potentials or Timothy's potential, but I still feel like some of these songs could be so much more amazing if we had like actual Broadway trained singers doing the songs for this musical. And I feel like the songs are very important to a musical and all of these have been forgettable. I'm just gonna waterboard my manzi. Why would you tell someone something whilst their head is dunked underwater? They're not gonna be able to hear you properly. You're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I don't have a bonk on the head. There's a few moments where his line delivery for me, Timothy's, really does work as Wonka, but then there's other ones where I'm not feeling it so much. And I feel like I'm being such a hater. But I just wanna be honest about how I'm feeling about the movie. Like, so far, they definitely really haven't pulled me in. Like, I'm just watching it because, for you guys. <laughs> like, I think if I was watching this on my own and not as a job, I would have turned it off by now. A secret vault deep beneath the cathedral, guarded round the clock by a corrupt cleric and 500 chocoholic monks. So that was what the creepy choir was for. This is so elaborate for chocolate. <laughs> you can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop debatable he was doing it on the streets but just no one was allowing him to so i guess somewhat right but he could hustle enough what's this glass half full a way. penis she said you're a prick you're a dick if you're recruiting i'd do anything to get out of here wait this is kind of nice that all of the workers here are kind of making their own business together with wonka Sweeping off my feet, you know, whisking off to a life of adventure. Could that be you? <gasps> no. What do I recognise her from? Oh my god, she's from you. Isn't that Kate? Or whatever her name is? Didn't expect to see her here. My giraffe milk macaroon. I am once again asking, is giraffe milk real? Because I'm a bit suspicious. There's chocolate. And there's chocolate. Yes, Timmy, give us nothing. <laughs> then I'm lying. Look at that footwork. What this movie needs, though, is more like dancing to add up for the fact that the singing is somewhat mediocre.
love how the trap doors are literally just the sewers. Like, that's so gross. I wouldn't do that. I cannot be Pennywise out here, okay? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This number is winning me over. Like, I really am rooting for this movie. I want you to know that. So I'm just looking for anything that can. Like, come on, girlies and besties. I've never had something like this. Like, not that Mandy out singing the leads. If we don't get on top of this, we'll go past chocolate wheels. They have issues because if their business is this frail, maybe you need to work on the products you were putting out. Just a thought. All right, where is he? Where is He's left his scarf in the drain. They're going to catch it. Mm. What did I say? Oh. Let me out. Not until I take a good look at you. It's what the girlies in South London be looking like with their fake tans. In fact, in Lumberland, I am regarded as something of a whopper. They call me Loft. Look, I hate to be that girly. Actually, I don't. I don't hate to be that girly. But Hugh Grant really complained about being in this movie. Like, he kind of made it known that he hated the experience and did not have a good time. But then, it's an issue with Rachel Segler. Does it? Hmm. 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 Okay, can we do the... No, I want dance moves that I know. <laughs> I'm not above fart jokes, okay? I don't care if they're made for kids, I'm not above them. My shoulders kind of hurt. This is a workout. Do be so very kind as to pass me that um, miniature frying pan. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Now come a little closer. No, no, no. Is it closer? Closer, closer. Mm. Come on, close it on now. There we are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ow! Although I kind of deserved, you did steal from the Oompa Loompas. But also, let's eliminate the Oompa Loompa. I'm not a fan of him. Him and his orange tan. He looks like a what's it. You won't be scrub scrubbing much longer, Noodle. <laughs> we'll all be free. As free as flamingos! Something's gotta go wrong soon. We're like an hour into an hour and 40 minute long movie. I said to downfall pretty soon. You have a guess. A Mr. Huanka? He's been sneaking out to sell chocolate with the help of your serving girl. What a snitch! Count to ten. Make a wish now. Is this come with me and you'll see a word of your imagination? Yeah, get those steps in. I want to see that footwork. I want to see you put the hours in. I really feel like they could have danced Timmy harder in this movie. Maybe I'm wanting too much from a kid's movie and I'm being too harsh on it and I really don't mean to be. But I do believe it. I want to know how they were piss poor and they got the budget for all of this stuff in the store. Am I so wrong for asking that? <laughs> but it is pretty. Candy, just keep your umbrella. Definitely not meeting FDA standards though, are they? Like, the food and hygiene here has got to be abysmal. And how would you like your change? Spendable or edible? Oh, edible, please. Dumbass. Dumb, dumb man. In this economy, no, I'm getting my change. But if I was at M&M World and they asked whether I wanted my change in M&Ms, maybe I'd say yes. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's impossible. Did the Oompa Loompas come for his chocolate? Did they spike it? Yeti sweat? I didn't put it in there. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been tampered with. Oh, this is a flop. Oh god. Oh god. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. What? It appears that the chocolates have been poisoned. Poisoned? That's not what you want to announce on opening day. This is what you get from the stash of my daughter. Bro, she's gonna eliminate someone. Ooh. They are such haters. I mean, the customers kind of popped off with the revolution as soon as they realised they'd been drugged. Fair enough, you were poisoned. But oh, these peasants, they can't come back from that. She promised she would be here. You didn't actually think that- Oh, I did. But your mumsy's dead. Eliminated. Like, she's not coming back. Not physically, at least. Also, would she really want to come back for that shit show? Like, encouraged Mrs. Scrubbit to enhance your creations. We paid her to poison them. Yes, thank you, Gerald. You're welcome. Oh, I 
thought it was the Oompa Loompa coming for a revenge. And this is for the girl. Now it's a little bit extra for her, so that she can get a place to live, clothes, toys. You could change her life. Change all their life. But if he just sticks to his dream, he could also change her life. But would I be tempted by the money? Yes. Yes, I would. Never make chocolate again. But also, it would boost my ego to see them so afraid of the possibility that my chocolate could run them out of business. Like, if I was him, I'd continue because it means you're doing something right that they're so scared of you. Sorry, Noodle. <laughs> Not that being the start of the song. Sorry, Noodle. I just wanted it to feel the way that it did when I was a kid. Oh, that kind of hits hard though. I wanted it to feel like it did when I was a kid. <laughs> That's something everyone who's older who's watching this movie can relate to. Like, is searching for that nostalgia again and that good feeling. Mm. <laughs> That's a business handshake, yeah. I don't know, he just kind of looked hot being, like, constipated like that. He just did, he did, okay? He did, okay? Don't disagree with me, I know you felt it too. Look, we're stuck with shook my hand. It's, a ring of chocolate? It. Oh, ass. He's eating ass. Noodle the orphan have a Slugworth family ring. There's only one. Oh, one. she's a part of the family. I did not expect explosions in Wonka the movie, but I guess they did mention eliminations if necessary. God, they really were so scared of Wonka. Like that's embarrassing. It's a bit pathetic. My friend, Mr. Slugworth, doesn't think nasty little urchins like you should be out on the streets lowering the tone. So he gave me this money. So nasty spirited. Dungarees off you, you peasant. The puffy lucky. I love you. What is he a dog? Is he'll stop barking? I love you. Mm, that would give me the ache. I get it now. I really do. I want to see Wonka's goofy face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wally, I thought you'd gone. Wally. I swear she said Wally. I swear she said Wally. So I don't want to see anyone eating chocolate. All of these people in this cathedral place are such losers. Like, you really spend all day here talking and humming in unison? You really have no hobbies or life. That's embarrassing. Get a life. Nice giraffe. Again, never beating the loser allegations because you're afraid of a giraffe? Giraffes are adorable. Am I wrong though? They're not going to sing like that dream song about your imagination? Am I wrong? Is that not in... No, they not. Yeah, but she's not just an urchin, is she, Mr. Slugworth? Your family. <laughs> Who would have seen that coming? Is it definitely not me? Mr. Wonka, what would you like us to do? Die. Give... Tie dye. <laughs> just drink your way out of the situation. There's two of you. I believe in them. They could do it. They better get a straw and start slurping. <laughs> I bet that chocolate's going to do something to them, though. Like something else. Uh, see, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master. Master. I have. Whilst I'm still not convinced about him in this movie, Timothy, I will say he's a very versatile actor because he's gone from Wonka to Dune. And I really enjoyed seeing him in Dune, and I can't wait for Dune Part 2. So, yeah, he's still got me in a chokehold. Not the thing looking like penises. That actually looks like... I'm not wrong, am I? I'm not. They must have known that coming into this. Tangled, but platonic version. <laughs> it was actually my chocolate. He took his grand old time, though. They'd be eliminated by the time he got there. We just saw the chocolate go over their heads. There is no way he's getting there in time. <laughs> Yay for not dying! Didn't sound that convincing, did I? <laughs> a couple of thieves broke in, but I'm afraid they met with a little accident. In which they died. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually not a good joke. Just the way he delivered that line was genius. Officer, would you kindly take a look at this? Wonka! It details every single illegal payment these men have ever made. Wow, got him. Exposed. Yeah, you're cancelled. Come with me. Hey, or not. I think I've got the wrong movie. I don't think they have the come with me and you'll see a world of pure imagination or of your imagination. I think I got the wrong movie. 
my bad sorry come with me and you'll see well he's gonna see mumsy dearest now isn't he wait is that that musty chocolate bar from when he was a child that's gotta be out of date the secret is it's not the chocolate that matters i think it does oh, i think it does it's the people you share it with okay well he did find a nice group of people to share it with oh my goodness she's there blowing him a fat kiss That is kind of a cute moment. I'll give them that. She must be a big actress. They really cannot afford her for more than like three seconds of screen time. You're going to poison her with that musty chocolate bar that's like 30 years old. The movie ends here now because they all die from inhaling this musty chocolate bar. Is it as good as you remember? Every little bit. That is sweet though because he mentioned chasing that feeling of like being a kid again. So it did come full circle there for him which is nice. <laughs> we do get it i was right it isn't this movie not them doing my like whole draw my life youtube thing again oh, at least he didn't disappoint on this song because i was wondering what it'd sound like but i was like it's hard to mess up it's over yeah we're clapping because it's over i was actually surprised that the oompa loompas were like barely in this do you? Don't be a hater. Do it. He's not doing it. It was an okay movie. Would I ever watch it again? No. Would I really recommend it? No. It feels like a sin to say that, but I think it's widely known that it's been kind of controversial between audiences, like whether they like it or not. I'm definitely leaning more towards not. I really did try to root for it though. I didn't come in this wanting to hate on the movie. I really wanted to enjoy it because also the man that directed Paddington did this movie and I thought, well, how can he mess up? anyway i don't know it just fell flat for me in many places that's enough for me though i feel like i've said enough about this movie and i don't want to keep harping on it i feel like i'm being quite negative but yeah let me know if you've seen it below and let me know what you think but for now that's it from me if you want to check out one of these videos feel free if you want another like musical here if you want something completely different go there feel free yeah i'll see you around